In this video, I'm unboxing and doing a review of these Treblab Z2 wireless headphones. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. And today we're taking a look at these Treblab Z2 wireless headphones. Uh, these are Bluetooth wireless headphones that feature active noise cancellation and are pretty nice actually. I would like to thank Treblab for sending these over to the channel for a review and an unboxing. It really helps out the channel when I can get uh, companies to send stuff over and to take a look at. So, so basically I'm really excited about these because these uh, do have good reviews elsewhere. Um, so I'm really interested to take a look at them. So these do uh, feature pretty pretty large speakers. So they're 40 millimeter speakers. Uh, it has active noise cancellation, so that should be really good for scenarios where you are on a plane or a train, you're riding in the car as a passenger, and you know, not a driver, um, and you want to kind of you want to remove some of that ambient noise. It's supposed to have very comfortable ear pads and pretty long battery life. So here it says up to 34 hours. Yeah, so we'll take a look at them and do an unboxing. I don't know what the best way to do this. Uh, so this is a nice presentation. So if you're looking to get these for someone as a gift or whatever, um, it basically has kind of like the little magnet uh, side thing there. Open it up and you have uh, the Treblab logo on the hard shell case. So I, I do like it when companies include a nice kind of hard shell travel case with their headphones, especially if you're you're going to be using using these on a plane or something like that, carrying it in a backpack or in some luggage. Uh, it's nice to have a kind of a hard shell case to protect the headphones from getting damaged um, while you're traveling. And so if you look in here, um, it basically it's packaged in a way with this little foam insert. Um, but the headphones, really nice. Um, the Treble Lab logo on the ends. They kind of swivel out and fold down so that you can store them a little bit easier. Um, it has nice adjustments. It feels very solid. Um, you know, I mean, these remind me of other high quality headphones, right? Um, like the Bose headphones or any, you know, any of those higher end headphones have a kind of a nice feel to them. So you got the Z2, um, you know, uh, logo there. It's right side, left side. You got the uh, nice soft ear pads. And then really you got a couple of things. So you have an active noise cancellation on off switch here. I don't know if you can see that really good. And then on the other side, uh, so you have a USB, micro USB. Uh, so I can turn this a little bit. So you have a micro USB charge port there. You've got some controls for volume up, down. You know, previous next tracks, pause, play, and a couple microphone holes. So you can use this as kind of like a microphone uh, a headset for taking phone calls or that sort of thing. And then you have an aux input for the headphone jack. So pretty straightforward there. Um, also included have uh, micro USB cable, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's a flat type cable. You can see that, so it's flat. Looks pretty long, so it should be adequate. Then you have your little user manual, your Bluetooth headphones, active noise canceling. Um, it does have an inline uh, microphone also uh, with a phone 
pickup button. So you can answer a phone call by pressing that end phone call. I guess it says here, turn on Google Voice Search or Siri. So you can also use Siri or Voice Search by pressing this and kind of long holding it. So this has, um, you know, Bluetooth 4.2 with active noise cancellation technology and kind of all your typical information about all the buttons and all of that. So it does have the two modes, right? So you can have Bluetooth wireless or line in, which would be connected with the aux cable. Yeah, so basically you can kind of look through all of this. Uh, standard, <laughs> I don't know, standard manual. So what I'm going to do here uh, and what I've kind of done with other videos uh, reviewing headphones is basically um, I did the unboxing, kind of take a look at them, you know, get my initial thoughts here. And I do, like I said, I think that these feel like a very uh, solid set of headphones. And then what I'll do is use them for a few days, use them in a couple different situations, listening to music. Uh, uh, I have a lot of conference calls for work, so I'll use these on some calls, see what they, how they work like in the phone kind of uh, situation where you're talking on the phone, uh, listening to music, all of that sort of thing. And then I will finish up the review on the computer with some final thoughts and all of that and summarize kind of my findings in using these. And the other thing um, that others have asked is what do these look like on? So I'll do that as well here. Uh, I'll do that right now before I actually uh, do the rest of the video. So I'll put these on and I'll show you what they look like. So this is what they look like when I'm wearing them. So they do cover my ears, right? So these, these do cover the ears completely. So they don't just sit on the ear. Um, they actually cover my ears up and Basically, that's what they look like. Hopefully this is coming on the video here. I'm just recording it with my phone so you can see kind of what they look like and how they fit. So they're pretty comfortable. Um, I must say, they're, you know, they're, they're comfortable. There's enough of adjustment. I have kind of a big head, so um, sometimes I have issues with <laughs> Uh, you know, with headphones because they might pinch too much or they might push on the top of my head, but these fit fairly well. So that's what they look like. And I will now jump over to the computer and kind of finish up my review after, like I said, I would have been using these for uh, at least, you know, three, four or five days. So I'll see you over there. So it's been about a week since I've did that last uh, unboxing portion of this review. And over that time, I've had enough experience in a couple different scenarios. Like I mentioned, uh, I use them on phone calls for uh, conference calls for work. So kind of like an hour at a time, multiple times a day. And also listening to music, both at home and in the office. So I've got a little bit of, you know, usage under my belt and uh, kind of want to just give a little bit of my feedback based on that usage. And the first thing I would say is from a comfort perspective, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier in the other portion of the review, is that overall they're pretty comfortable. Um, they seem to have uh, a good fit on my head. Um, the expandability of the headband going up and down uh, was good enough for me. I actually had to extend it kind of almost all the way uh, for it to fit comfortably on my head. There's not a ton of tension. Um, uh, when you have them on your ears, so it doesn't hurt that much over time, right? So sometimes I have other headphones where they're, if they're just a little too tight, you know, it might be okay for half an hour or 40 minutes, but then you start getting a little bit longer and it starts feeling like your ears hurt or your head hurts or something like that. And I didn't necessarily experience that with these. I, you know, I think it's pretty, pretty comfortable. Um, from a battery life perspective, I think these also did pretty good, uh, actually really well. I charged them once, and I haven't charged them <laughs> again. And kind of over the course of my use for the whole week, I, I only charged it once. And that's with a combination of lots of different calls, like I said, music listening, etc. cetera. Um, when I did charge it initially, it charged fairly quickly. So from a 
from a usability standpoint and battery life, I think it's really pretty good. The one thing I did notice is that you can turn these off, you know, the sound portion of these headphones off, but then still use the noise cancellation. So there's like two switches, one for dealing with the headphones and one for the active noise canceling. So you could actually put them on and just have the active noise canceling on and have it, you know, perform that function without actually connecting to your phone. So that's actually kind of an interesting situation. Um, you know, and you can use it in that way. You just have to remember not to leave that on because I'm, I'm sure that would just kind of constantly drain the battery. So you have to remember to switch off the active noise canceling if you're not wearing the headphones and using them. And speaking of the active noise cancellation, I think it works pretty good in these headphones, although it's not as obvious as, say, for instance, my Bose uh, QC quite comfort 35s because when I put those on and I turn on the active noise canceling I can hear like the sound just goes whoop, you know and goes away right and it's super quiet these it's not as drastic as that but it still works so like in in the situation here and I have in my basement you know my air conditioners on I can hear that you know the whirring noise kind of in the background and this does drown that out or, or kind of removes that so it, it keeps it pretty quiet and again, you have to kind of set your expectations with any sort of active noise canceling headphones, right? They do good in that kind of low ambient noise removal and like on a plane and that kind of thing, but it doesn't remove, you know, voices. Like somebody's sitting there talking, you know, you're still probably going to hear them unless you're playing music. So that's one thing I just noticed a lot of people ask in the past on other uh, headphones that I reviewed. It's like, well, I can still hear people talking if I have these on. Well, yeah, it, it's it's really not tuned for that. It's kind of that ambient outside noise that it's going to kind of remove or kind of uh, mask out. So again, it was pretty good. Doesn't compete, I don't think, with the Bose headphones, but really I don't think anything does unless you're kind of getting up in that range of the multi-hundreds, $300, $350 range. For, for a sub-$100 set of headphones, I think these are pretty good. From a music reproduction soundstage perspective, I think these sound really great, actually. Um, there's enough, enough mids, highs, bass to kind of give you that immersive sound. And it really sounds good. Uh, I tested this mostly with my OnePlus 7 Pro, which is another device I recently got. So, you know, I'll put it in the card if you care to take, take a look at that. But, yeah, music reproduction sounded good. Had a good balance, all of that. Not too bassy. You know, it's not thumping, thumping loud bassy, but it has a good, uh, just a good overall balance. The one thing I would say is that if you don't have the active noise canceling on and you're just listening with it off, it does sound a little muffled. And that's a kind of common problem I've seen with other headphones as well. It's so you kind of like have to have the active noise canceling on all the time unless you, you know, or, or it sounds muffly. Now, there's a little more bass if you have it turned off, you know, but to my ears, I think it sounded better with active noise canceling on. And the overall music experience was really good. And from a call perspective, phone perspective, this worked fine. Um, I, I was able to really clearly hear everybody. Uh, there was no delay in when I spoke and when people could hear me. Uh, people said I sounded good on the phone. So overall, no, no issues with that uh, from a phone call, conference call perspective. Now, nothing is perfect, I guess, right? So there's always some uh, improvements that can be had on and pretty much any product, right? Everyone's going to have a little bit of uh, places or chances to improve. And the one thing I would say with this set of headphones is that it does offer, uh, you know, a, a quality and sound that's easily comparable to something that costs twice as much, right? So in the mid to upper hundred dollar range, I think that this competes well with any, any headphones in that range. And so that's great. But some of the things that you might see in some of that, the higher end, headphones is, are things that this one does not have. So like a proximity sensor on the earphones or, or the, you know, the ear pods themselves. So when you take them off your head, say for instance, the music would stop, right? So uh, the Bose headphones and some of those other ones and even cheaper than Bose do that, right? So you take them off and it kind of pauses the music, you put them back on, the music will continue, right? So some of those advanced features like that, the auto stop start on proximity are missing from, from these headphones. 
So in conclusion, I think that these are a really good value for the price. I think that they come in right now around $89, $90 on Amazon. And you can find that link below uh, in, the, in the description of this video. So it's a little bit more expensive some, than some of the other headphones I've done in the past or reviewed in the past that were in the $50 to $60 range. But I do think you get some more, definitely get some better sound quality for a little bit of additional money. So if I had to give them these a rating, I would rate them a solid four out of five and maybe just a, even a little bit higher, right? So maybe four and a quarter <laughs> sort of thing. But but really in the you know sub $100 range, I mean, these are solid headphones, but you know overall comparing them to other things like the Bose, I mean, obviously they, they don't really compete there, but, but just from a sound quality, overall quality, definitely a solid four out of five star rating. And if you're still sticking around right now and you're listening to me, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Uh, I really appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post those below and I'll definitely respond to you. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.